How's it going, climbing friends? So, uh, so oftentimes, us climbers, we only have one hand to work with because the other one's holding the rock and stuff. So I decided it'd be a good video to show you how uh, to do some one-handed knot tricks and make some common knots with just one hand. And I got some uh, requests to do the clove hitch kind of again because some people still kind of are kind of confused about how to do clove hitch. So I thought I'd make it more confusing and <laughs> do it with one hand. So basically, whenever you look at a clove hitch, right, and you're gonna make one, the top strand or this strand here is gonna have to be on the inside of the clove hitch. So I'm gonna try to break it down simple. Like here's a, okay, here's a clove hitch right here, right? And what I'm saying is both these strands, as you can see this one and this one, they're, they're on the inside and being closed on as opposed to like if they were on the outside like that. See how that's on the outside? And uh, it's, I guess this would be the opposite of a clove hitch on the outside there and then put together, it's, it's nothing because they're on the outside. So what you want to do the clove hitch is you want to get these strands on the inside and then put together like that to make a clove hitch. So if you're going to do that with one hand, if you're going to flip it this way like this, you can then reach through it and then grab another one and then do the same flip just like that. And then you can see they're now uh, on the inside and making a clove hitch. Now, if you didn't do that flip like this and capture this end on the inside, on the bottom here, I'm, I'm calling that the inside because if we grabbed on the bottom through, the, through this hole right here and then did another one, you can see that that's on the inside. Now what I'm saying is, if you didn't put it on the inside and this one on top and you flipped it the other way, like, uh, let's see, like, oh, like this, like on top. Now it's on top. If you're gonna try to do it on top, well then now the next loop is gonna have to be on top of this loop instead of on the bottom because now we want this on the inside and now it's not on the inside it's on the outside so our next loop we're gonna have to grab it like this and we're gonna have to flip it kind of like a like a like this right and then now we're packed it on top and now it's a completed clove hitch so i hope that doesn't boggle your mind too much okay so let me show you another way to do a clove hitch if you're clipping in uh, with one hand. Okay, let's say you're coming up to a carabiner like this, all right? And uh, you wanna put a clove hitch into this, right? And here's your end of rope, and we're gonna say that this end here is tied into me, okay? So we're, we're gonna, this is the pointy end, whatever. So I, that end's tied into me, okay? So you'd wanna clip into the carabiner and you can clip it just like this with one hand right okay so it's clipped in now we want to turn this into a clove hitch so don't mind my other hand so what you're gonna do is based off of uh, what I just said where you want to pack this loop on the inside we're gonna have to grab we're gonna have to grab a loop from over here and we're gonna have to come around and pack it on the inside like that. See, I'm packing it on the inside there and then clipping it. And then bam, you got your clove hitch. So once again, try not to make this confusing. This is tied to me. That's over there. Okay, that's me, I'm, I'm attached over here. I'm grabbing over here. This is the string that's going down to the belay. And I'm gonna just do a twist like this. And I'm gonna pass it over and just clip it in real quick, just like that. And there you go. Now, if it was, if you're back clipped and back clipped is something you don't want to do, but basically if I'm here and I'm clipping in like this, as opposed to clipping the correct way, which is clipping like this, let's say we're clipping towards the rock like that, and we still want to make a clove hitch. Now we have to pack this on the inside again. So we're gonna have to pass it instead of on top, we're gonna have to pass it behind 
and then just like that. And that's actually not glove. It's actually not a glove fit at all. So like I said, you're gonna pack it behind, and then oh, we're gonna have to do it like this. There you go, and then clip it in. So what's the difference between making a girth hitch and a clove hitch? Is which is what I kind of just did right there. I think I'm just confusing people more than I am helping. But anyway, if you went like this. And then all of a sudden you saw both ends coming out the same way. You're making a you're making a girth hitch, not a clove hitch. But if you're able to pass it like this, and one end's going on this side of the line, and one end's coming on this side of the line, then you know you got it. And you clip it in like that, and that's a uh, clove hitch. So basically, um, most of the times you're going to be clipping into a beater this way and not back clipping it. So, like I said, if you're doing that, you just grab it, do a clockwise turn, boom, clockwise turn, passing it over the rope, and then clipping it in, and then you could get really good at that. Give that some practice. All right, so that's a uh, one-handed clove hitch. All right, figure it on a bite with one hand, grab a bite of rope, Give it a little whip over there, right? Grab your bite, slap it on top, and then you're gonna have to tuck it under and then grab that bite or rope on the other side. So we got this so far. Let me get my hand out of the way. So far we got the bite or rope flipped on top and then tucked under. Then we're gonna grab that bite and just pass it through and tuck it through that hole like that, and then give it a tug, and then that should figure eight on a bite with one hand. Okay, what's next? Okay, one-handed alpine butterfly. Grab it, give it a twist, right hand, or clockwise twist. Then you're gonna stick your hand through there, gonna grab it again, gonna give it another same twist, clockwise twist just like that. So basically got two clockwise twists, we're gonna grab this X that we got here. We're gonna turn it so that that top loop is on the other side of the rope. Then we have to just grab this here, this loop, and then just feed it through the, that hole right there. And then we give it a good ah, yank, and then Alpine Butterfly. Let's do that again, because that looked kind of weird. So grab it. Clockwise, stick our hand through, clockwise. So we got two clockwise tw twists, one right there, one right there. I'm gonna grab this to pass this loop that's behind my hand like that. And we want that loop to be on the outside over here. And then what we're doing is we're get, grabbing that outside loop and we're passing it through here. So we're gonna grab that Yank it through here and then there. Alpine butterfly, one-handed. Okay. Okay, last one real quick. Let's say someone throws you a line and you gotta put a bow line around your waist real quick. First, we're gonna toss this end around our waist, over our head, around our waist. We're gonna grab a bite of rope like this. We're gonna grab this end and we're gonna twist it so that the leading end is on top. Because of the bow line, kind of like I was talking about with capturing the the end on the inside with the, with the clove hitches. A bow line is kind of the same thing where you want to capture this end on top so it has to be forced to get pulled through this end and that's what this loop is going to do, creating the knot. So uh, use a bow line enough, you'll, you'll know what I mean. So we're going to grab this bite and we're going to stick our whole hand through and the bite through this loop, just like so. Then, now that we got our hand through there, through there and we got this bite, we're going to grab this end here and we're going to whip it around on top this leading end, it's the leading end of the of the loop there. And then we're gonna grab it like that and we're gonna suck it through this hole that we stuck our hand through. And then this gets tightened up and it cinches down just like that. Then you have some extra tail here. It's always a good idea to throw in another half hitch for safety. Just tie it just like that, boom. There you go. So uh, bow line around your waist with 
one hand. A skill you want to practice, might need it one day, uh, not too hard. What do you guys think? Leave a comment down below. Okay, I'm climbing out of here. Joshua Perry climbing out of here. Uh, see you guys next week. Hope you guys enjoy that stuff. Bye. <laughs> Where am I going? Oh,